Alright, here's a video on how to get Homebrew installed on macOS. You're going to want to go and do a Google search for Homebrew. Uh, there you go. And the brew.sh. You're going to want to copy this here. Just hit the little button that copies it to your clipboard. And now open a terminal. In a terminal, just paste that in there. Hit enter and uh, wait for it to pop up. It's going to ask you to put your password in, put your password in, hit enter, hit enter again, and now this is going to take a little while depending on your internet and your computer. So we'll speed this up a little bit and get to the end. It took about five to ten minutes. Just depends. My internet connection was really slow. All right, so now what we're going to do is copy this text right here it's to set up some parameters in your user folder. So I couldn't tell you exactly what it does. I just know that it tells you to do it. So just copy it and paste it in the bottom and then run it. These two lines right here, or three lines, I guess paste it, enter, and you're done. Okay, so now Homebrew is all set up. So now what you're going to want to do is install ROM tools. So you do brew install rom-tools, enter, takes a couple seconds, and boom, you're done. That's it. Now, while we're here, you can install some pretty cool little tools. You can do a little searching. I'll show you install NeoFetch. It's a Linux kind of tool that I learned when I was playing around with Linux. Gives you a cool little screen to show you everything about your computer. Once you've installed it, just type in NeoFetch. It runs the program. It shows you exactly what OS you're running, what window manager, how much RAM, your processor, all that crazy stuff. It's a pretty cool little thing, it's something from Linux. I didn't even know you could do this on Mac OS, but there you go. Very cool. Hope this helps you guys out, and I'll see you next time.